starts to annotations. In this video tutorial, I will explain you how you can use the starts to convention plugin and create simple hello world application. Starts to annotations tutorial. Tutorial for developing hello world application using annotations. First, we will understand how starts to convention plugin works. We will also create a simple hello world application and run on Tomcat 7. Eclipse IDE is used for programming and running project. How convention plugin works in struts 2. Struts 2 convention plugin is responsible for configuring the annotated classes as action. The convention plugin was first added in the struts version 2.1 by replacing the earlier code behind plugin and zero config plugins. The convention plugin comes with many handy features and eases the development of struts 2 based web applications. Features of struts 2 convention plugin No configuration file is needed so we don't have any requirement to have struts.xml file in the project class path. We have a well defined naming conventions for the action class location. The struts2 convention plugin scans the annotated classes packaged in the packages named struts, struts2, action or actions. In our example, action class is present in the net.rosindia.action package. Convention plugin will scan the class and register the action hello world action as hello world.action. Here we can configure the results location by using the annotations in the action class. In our example, we have used at the rate result annotation to configure the results. Example is at the rate result name is equal to success and location is example slash hello world.jsp. Well defined rule for class name to URL naming convention. For example, the login.action will change to login.action. You can also specify your own custom URL name using the annotation. Add that action value is equal to slash hello world. Now SEO compliant URLs are also supported. For example, my action will be changed to my hyphen action. You can also use the annotations to override the default action name. You can override namespace using annotations. You can override Xwork package using annotation. Writing the code. First, we'll have to write hello world action.java. Then we'll write JSP files index.jsp and slash example slash hello world.jsp. And then we'll add struts2 libraries into the project. Adding the struts2 convention plugin to Point x point x dot jar to the project projects web inf slash lib directory. Then we'll use the Eclipse ID to compile and run the project. To run the project, we'll use the Eclipse ID and embedded tom Tomcat 7 to execute the example. We can run the application through the Eclipse ID. You can use any other browser to test the application. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can create Hello World application using Struts framework with the help of annotation or annotated action classes. So, go to the file, create dynamic web project, specify the location of project. Starts to Hello World annotation. Click Next. Again, click Next. And then click on Generate 
web.xml deployment descriptor. Finally, click on finish button. Now we will add the library files. So you can download the source code from our website and then extract the content and from there take the these jar files or you can also get the jar files from the struts to download library. So these jar files are copied here. Now go to the source package and create a new package. So you have to create a package called net.rosindia.action. So this is our package. Let's copy the so let's copy the action class from our download program which is hello world.action and we also need these two properties files for the messages. So uh, we will just copy and paste here. So all these are copied here. We have hello world.action. Let me explain you this hello world.action. It includes all these uh, required struts classes which is action, namespace, result and action support. The namespace is to specify the namespace of the application and we have hello world class which extends action support class and we are this method this execute method is actually processing this action hello world dot action and here we can specify the results using the results attribute in the action at that action annotation and result name which is a success and its location is example slash hello world dot jsp and this is the set message which is actually getting the message from uh, uh, let's see the get message so it is getting the message from uh, this property files which is uh, this is getting the message from a string with the help of action support dot get text method and these are two properties file which is used for saving the message now we will add the entries into web.xml file so what we have to add is uh, is go to web content web inf and open it in the editor so what you have to add is this struts to filter uh, filter class filter entry so which is struts prepare and execute filter now we'll uh, create the jsp files so one should be in the web content folder which is index.jsp. So simply copy it from our example. Copy and paste in the application. Just open it and here we have a link to call the hello world action with and the name is space of this is Rose India and the action name is hello world. So we'll be calling it uh, when user clicks on test struts to hello world example. So since this result is in, in the slash example, so we'll create a folder here, example.
and copy these files. So we have only one file, hello world.csp. Now everything is ready and we are ready to test the application. Right click and run as run on server. Next. So we'll do uh, early, early examples and we'll just run only this application. So it's deploying on Tomcat and it should run. So this is uh, the link presented in index.jsp file. We'll click it here and it is showing the hello world message. So it is basically uh, this message is, is coming from the action class which is here uh, we can change the message property hello world welcome to search to annotation story save it and we'll run run server click on next finish restart the server so now it's seeing the updated message so to create the annotation annotated application we have to you have to import import these annotation classes provide the annotation to the action class this is namespace and uh, you can create any method any number of method to handle uh, handle different requests so to handle uh, hello world request we have a method called uh, execute and the action name is hello world here we can specify the different results and the result types so it's very easy to create the application in struts2 using annotation we don't have to create the struts.xml file you can visit www.roseindia.net slash tutorials you can also find the link in the video description for downloading the source code we have tutorials on hibernate struts xml spring and all the all the frameworks related to java visit our website and learn thanks for watching the tutorial